Hey guys, it's JB here, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to customize your iPhone ringtones and alert tones without PC or Apple Music subscription. Hi guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. My name is JB of TechGuyPH. For most of us iPhone users, we are stuck with the default ringtones and alert tones. I know that most of us would like to listen to music whenever we receive calls or alerts, but iPhone does not allow us to customize this setting readily on our devices. There are two solutions if you'd like to have a customized ringtones. First, you might want to transfer music from your computer to your iPhone. Second is to have an Apple Music subscription. But what if you don't have a computer at a moment or you don't want an Apple Music subscription? In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to customize iPhone ringtones and alert tones without the use of computer or Apple Music subscription. Now let's dive in. All right, now for the first step, you must download your favorite music off from the Safari app. If you don't know how to download music from the Safari app, you might want to watch this card right here and get back to this tutorial. Moving on, if you don't have GarageBand installed in your iPhones, you must install that right now. Now open your app store and find GarageBand. Like so. All right, now, since I have downloaded GarageBand on my phone, I'm just going to open it like so, and we will have this page right here. Now click on Create Song and click on Audio Recorder. All right, now don't be overwhelmed with this interface right here, just follow along with me. All right, and on the top left portion of the app, we have four hotkeys right here. I want you to press on the third hotkey, all right? And our page turned into a timeline. Right this time, let us press the plus icon listed in the top right portion of the app. Hit on section A and tick automatic option, all right? Click on done. Now, let us import music from our files app. Just click on the first icon listed on the right topmost part of the app, just near the gear icon, like so. All right, now we have Apple Loops, Files, and Music. Just click on Files, browse items from the Files app, and locate your downloaded music, all right? And just click on that. Now it will appear here. And right this time, what I want you to do is to click, tap, and drag the file to the left side of the app. All right, let's do that. And drag it to the starting point of the timeline. Now the next step is click on the inverted triangle on the top left portion of the app. All right, click on my songs, and then then long tap the save file, all right, and find share. Click on that, click on ringtone, let's ignore this one, <laughs> click on continue, and rename your song. All right, let me just rename this to ringtone one. All right, export, it's going to export as a ringtone, just wait for it, and just click OK. Now let us go to our settings menu. Open settings and find sounds and haptics. Now go to ringtone and ringtone one is listed on our set of ringtones. Now let us verify if that is the correct music. All right, that is the correct audio. Now you can also use that in your text tones, voicemail, new mail, set mail, or whatever sounds and options you want. Now this time I'd like to walk you through on how to change sounds in your alarm settings. All right, now I'm going to edit one of my alarm right here. Just go to your alarm, click on sound, and choose ringtone one. All right, now click on that, save, and that's basically much about it. 
By the way, just a tip, you can also use your voice to set some alarms or notifications. Just go to voice memos like so and try to record your audio. After we have recorded your audio, just click on this three dotted icon right here and save it to your downloads folder inside your on my iPhone files app or anywhere you want as long as you can locate it easily. Now just do the process again like what I did earlier. Now you have a customized ringtone. Now let me try my personalized ringtone. Hey JP, it's time for you to pick up your phone. You got a notification. All right, isn't that cool? The process is quite tedious, but it gets the job done. You may add additional ringtones if your storage will allow. I would like to shout out to the following persons who've asked for this tutorial. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, you might want to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post new videos here in my channel. My 1,000 subscribers giveaway is still up and winning. You might want to click this video right here and find out how to join. I think that is it everyone. This has been JB here in Tech Guy PH and I hope to see you on the next video. Adios!